Did they leave? Can we go home? What do you think? Do you think they left? Do you really? <sighs> uh, they're probably getting in their helicopters so they can kill Jesse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Got to switch some stuff out. Putting that, that ribbon back on her. To... Immune to status effects. Harder to knock her out of her uh, magic casting animation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scarlet also dropped this fancy armlet. Ooh. Its main benefit is that uh, it keeps you from dying once per battle and it doesn't break. Uh, I'm surprised that the armlet itself doesn't also have cleavage somehow. <laughs> right. Seems off brand. Yeah. The only exception to the, the preventing death once per battle thing is it doesn't work against, against instant death attacks. Ah. Uh. Or if your HP was already at one, you'll still die from that, but... This game only has 10 save slots, which is really annoying when I'm juggling <laughs> different takes. I hate it. Work, you stupid. No good. Door won't budge. Meaning we're trapped. Want them to suffer. <laughs> the rest I leave to you. Challenge, meaning we're in for a world of hurt. You know, the the main remake story did kind of recontextualize some things or took ideas from the extended universe and did something different with them. Deep mm. ground here is seems pretty similar to what Deep Ground was in in Dirge of Cerberus. The, the only, like, main thing that feels a little different is just how aware everyone in Shinra is of Deep Ground's existence. Like, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, from Dirge of Cerberus, it was more like the most top-secret thing that a couple people knew of, but it was really just kind of Hojo's thing. <laughs> But now Scarlet has a button specifically to release the, the hair metal uh, foxhound unit from their tubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, Nero and Vice, yeah, without like spoiling what they are, because it doesn't really matter to the main plot of Seven, it's just a Dirge of Cerberus thing where they matter. Yeah, just imagine there's Shinra's foxhound. <laughs> That's right, all you right. need to know, really. I sent you to a they're just weird sicko freaks that do a lot of soldier stuff. Yep. What's he gonna do about this? You're going down! Stop his hands and back up! Fun little trivia thing about the soundtrack for the DLC. The, the music that played in the previous episode where we were fighting the Deep Ground soldiers, mm -hmm. that is a remixed version of... Uh, so Dirge of Service was a third-person shooter, and it had a multiplayer right. mode? That Hell battle yeah. music is from the multiplayer mode of a PlayStation 2 game. Hell yeah. 
Okay, okay. You ran away from dudes and locked the door behind you. Mm -hmm. And the room you locked yourself in was one of Chad Lee's magic rooms. <laughs> yeah. Well, they didn't actually so they... lock themselves in. It was actually... The Deep Ground Soldiers threw that grenade to flush them into that room to trap them there on purpose so they can pan pain sensation maximum them. Okay, this is getting old. There's gotta be a projection mechanism around here somewhere. If we can just find it. Boss! What the? Why can't I hit it? Because that tentacle freak won't let you. We're gonna have to tough this one out. So yeah, new enemy. Not from the original game either. They just made up this guy for this. This is the diabolic creation. Ooh, so wiggly. Uh, it's a monster that they made that was too fucked up, so they had to kill it. Because it would eat the other monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Weak to ice, you can also uh, attack its weird tentacle arm to, to sever that. Uh, mm -hmm. To pressure it more easily. And to keep it from doing all of its weird tentacle attacks. It also does this thing where it will... That, that poison shroud move, sometimes it covers different parts of its body in, like, a, a weird shroud, and if you attack that part of its body, it will explode, like, in a bad way. Like, the, the mm -hmm. poison gas cloud will explode and hurt you. And, and that's, that's the guy from Destiny. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, that's the, that's the, like, VR room projector projecting all the enemies. And that's the real thing you gotta kill, but it's invincible until you kill the whatever is projecting at you. <laughs> okay, sure, cool. <laughs> you need to kill. Does it do anything? Like, w will it buff the, the the creation or anything, or is it just like there? It's just kind of there to make like okay. So if you kill that enemy, eventually it'll project another one. But right, that, like, right. literally all it does is project the enemy so that you can't hurt it. Got it. Whoa, whoa. Uh -oh. Also, something I think that's kind of funny is the amount of effort on certain things in this DLC, like, okay, so they modeled yeah, yeah. all the deep ground soldiers, they have you fight yes. them and all that. That yes. is the only time you fight them in the DLC. Unless you're doing, like, post-game arena stuff. <laughs> Making an entire new enemy type for a single fight that isn't even a boss just seems wild to me. I mean, who knows, maybe they'll reuse them for the next game or something. Mm -hmm. But it's just like... From my time in game development, Proposing, hey, let's make an enemy you fight once is an insane idea that you say no to. <laughs> or like, uh, last episode where you're trying to, you know, you like turn the power back on, you go to the, the nice chair room, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like those two dudes in their little mech suits come in, and there's like a bespoke animation of them ducking under the doorway so they can get in that you see nowhere else in the game. Don't fucking do that! Cut that! What are you doing? <laughs> You're making somebody animate them duck under the door? Fuck you! Just have the camera cut after they're already inside. <laughs> what are you waiting for? How you like that? Oh, it's, it's just the same dude over and over again. Okay. It's the same dude over and over again. I wish it was more than one dude, but... It's pretty, like, the but, projector... I mean, we're already talking about all these bespoke things. <laughs> yeah, and, like... It could just be the one, dude. It can be the, like... It's also, like, a completely new unique boss fight, so I can't really complain too much. I was just taking my thousand-year nap! <laughs> my thousand-year nap was about 40 minutes this time. How confused are the summons when they just pop up somewhere new and they just see some new fucked up thing they have to shoot lasers at? What do you mean I'm in a computer? I don't do emails! 
Is this what emails are? I'm just the wizard, not the WWW wizard. <laughs> That's a different one. The wizard. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not my joke. That's a fucking Aqua Teen Hunger Force joke. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot say I'm funny. I'm just quoting Adult Swift cartoons at this point. It says I want a free iPhone. <laughs> Let me click that. Good for keep it up, huh? God. Yeah, thankfully the projector has very little health, so you can take it out in like two <laughs> goes. You can actually do it in one if you, you really time all your abilities right. It's already dead, Yuffie. It's already dead. She just wants to have a big pile of leaves that she can jump in. Yeah. Now can we please get out of here already? Good job. You overloaded it. Yeah. They won't be showing you any fake tentacle monsters that don't exist because they scrapped that program because it kept eating the other tentacle monsters. <laughs> <laughs> That's right up Hojo's alley. Like, that is straight up just something Hojo did on his, in, in like, a day. Uh, but yeah, we're also switching Sonon back to his, his starter weapon because it has this passive ability that uh, is kind of like a whole extra combat mechanic that's easy to miss. If you've got this ability unlocked, you can synergize limit breaks. Interesting. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, aside from that, this is just... Uh, a lot of just uh, attack buffs and, and stuff to make his ATB go up a little faster. But yeah, the, the synergized limit break is something I didn't even know existed until I was doing like the the extra hard mode playthrough. I was like, this fucking exists. <laughs> and also the passive ability on the the four point shuriken uh, for perfect blocking is just you basically completely fill up your both ATB bars like instantly if you perfect block. Ooh, Which nice. is really nice. Yeah. Also in the DLC, because we did that box breaking minigame and got a magnify materia from that. Unlike the main game, there's actually two magnify materia to get. Uh, which I thought would feel broken, but it still feels pretty balanced. Uh, since you only have two party members here. Right, right. Yeah, Yuffie can, we can both uh, do full party heals and full party like barriers at the same time now. Congratulations. Yeah. I knew you could do it. I'm so proud. But I've been following your material use <laughs> every step of the way. And uh -huh. this, oh man, it really warms my heart to, to see you reach this level. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, please hold your applause. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> applaud. <laughs> Applaud for the boy, he earned it! <laughs> I played a video game right, come on! Who could have done this? I don't like the looks of this. I doubt they're here to help. Subjects on site. It's time. Initiate the Tviet field test. Sir. Where my brother and I like to play. Cool. 
Now mind moving aside. <laughs> Let's take a different tack. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. Now, let the games begin. What's with this company? A freaks only policy? Careful. These freaks don't freak. So I think the the reason why I'm actually fine with Nero and Vice being in this, even though they're dumbasses, with absurd character designs. Look at this guy! He is okay. He has two guns holstered, but he can't grab them because his arms are in a straight jacket. Good thing yes. he has robot bat wings with robot hands on them to hold his guns. Yeah, he thought of everything. And he's got two long straps connecting his legs together. What? Well, you know. Yeah. He, he, he enjoys the scene scene. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, the little description text for them, like he's got no weaknesses. That He's basically the exact same as his Dirt of Service PS2 design. They barely changed anything about him. Mm -hmm. This is the best JPEG of this fucker I could find. <laughs> <laughs> He has three mean, billion there abilities. Isn't like a, a lavish, dedicated Dirge of Cerberus fan base. There, there curating is, the high quality PNG. There is, and yet I couldn't find a good PNG. <laughs> yeah, the, the description text mentions that he Nero's a member of an elite unit within Deep Ground known as the Sviets. It's Foxhound. Mm -hmm. There's more than just Nero and Vice in the Sviets, but this, they're the only two that we see in this DLC. Despite Nero being a boss, also, the Sonon can grab aggro from him with insight, but like only once before he becomes immune to it. Better make it count. Sonon also has a passive ability in his current weapon that makes it so that if he incites enemies and takes damage during that time, or uses that ability that, uh, lets him, that directs Sonon's aggro on an enemy and gets increased attack power from it, Either of those abilities will cause his limit break gauge to increase a bunch. Uh, like, either every time he takes a hit while drawing aggro, or every time he lands a hit while being aggroed. Which is very helpful if you want to try and synergize limit breaks. So yeah, this fucker's just got... He's pretty easy to pressure, actually. You don't have to do anything fancy. You just gotta hit him a lot really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then pressure him. He is really fast, though, and he has so many abilities he can pop off. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, he can haste himself to pop off abilities even more, uh, which is why I gave Yuffie the, the material that gives her the Dispel spell, which just takes off any positive buffs on enemies. Too bad, so <laughs> bad. But yeah, I think the saving grace of having these guys in the DLC is that everyone else acts like they're fucking dumbass weebs. <laughs> like, Dirge of Cerberus, all these guys and other guys, that game is just constantly through all of its dialogue and, and, and cutscenes just trying to go, these guys are extremely cool and threatening. Don't you agree? Right, guys? This guy's so cool. And now they're just fucking weebs. And that's way better. Abnormal readings detected. The control program's been compromised. Containment protocol. You're dead. Stand in my way. This guy, he likes to say that all the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, once you hit the second phase, that's when he starts throwing out these big purple, black, wispy attacks, uh, which hits you with a new kind of status effect that is incurable other than just waiting. 
if you get, if you walk in any of the darkness stuff, uh, your HP is just constantly draining. It's not like poison where it's every tick or whatever. It's just constantly going down, and there's nothing you can do about it. So don't get hit. You can kind of offset it by like casting regen on the whole party so that it's mm -hmm. draining slower at least. There's you also a lot right of there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, when either Sonon or Yuffie gets hit with the darkness for the first time, they will just scream a lot. <laughs> I, I guess it hurts really fucking bad. Thankfully, you can free people from this grab if you you hit him with a strong enough ability. That grab just does a decent amount of damage at first, but once you get further into the fight, if you have like darkness on him on you when you get grabbed, it's an instant death attack unless you free yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They also went ape shit with the the soundtrack for Nero too, where every single phase of his fight is a completely different song. <laughs> yeah, you can tell he's evil, but but with a deep soul because he has a piano theme. It hurts, brother. It hurts so much. God. This is bad. Great. Let's get out of here. Send this before it swallows us too. So yeah, now the arena is there's a safe spot in the middle here, and if you go to the edges of the arena, it's just constant darkness where you will always start getting your health sapped, so don't a lot of his attacks there. push you back and potentially knock you into that area. If you can teleport now. Now, you, you can tell that he's not in charge because he still has fewer straps than Rufus. <laughs> yeah. More straps, more, more institutional power. Yeah. I forget if I mentioned this previously, but, like, the, the art book for this game, you know, that has, like, commentary written in it, the... There's a bit from Tetsuya Nomura about like, hey, so I updated Rufus's design and I gave him a bunch of straps without thinking about how fucking hard that would be to model, and everyone was mad at me, but they still did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this'll be fun. Oh my god, leave me alone, this child! Is the, the third, fourth time in one day? I was just researching the internet now. Do you know how long it takes me to shampoo my beard after one of these? <laughs> Why the fuck does he have a jockstrap on his face? He looks nothing like any of you other anime people. What is this? <laughs> Nero also has a new ability now that like lets him put a little shield around him, so you kind of have to break it with magic mm -hmm. and stuff, because your attacks will generally just bounce off of it. And there's one, there, there's one thing, like right before I summoned Rama, uh, there was like a cinematic camera angle uh, Nero took, and then he like flooded the entire arena with darkness. Yes. Uh, whenever he does that, yeah, the entire arena is just hitting you with the, the HP sapping thing. There's no way to avoid it. What's funny, though, and I don't know if this is intentional or not. Yeah, this dark matter thing. Your death cry. I don't must know. hear it. When I summon Rama and when Rama leaves, it completely clears the arena of this effect. <laughs> like, he just deleted it. I think that's just... 
unintentional, but man, it's handy. <laughs> the, the real story of this DLC is just a cranky old wizard solving all of your problems for you. <laughs> I love him! Rama's always been one of my favorites just because he's a big old wizard, but man, he's so good in this. <laughs> He does need to moisturize. Like, Rob's <laughs> looking a little rough under, yeah. under the eyes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gotta take care of your skin at that age. I mean, at every age. But it's never oh, yeah. too late to start, is what I, is what I mean to say. Mm -hmm. And also, Nero can kind of evade your attempts to get haste off of him because uh, he's immune to, you know, getting hit by shit, shit like that when he's in the middle of teleporting, mm -hmm. which sometimes he just loves to do while <laughs> while dispels in the middle of casting. different take where I killed this guy like several minutes quicker, but I just really wanted to get the sync limit brace to happen on him so yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Snow, snow limits. He's also a boss with like five, five separate faces. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, we're in the final phase with him now. Uh, his wings are a target you can attack now because he can't. Uh. Uh, you can't pressure him through normal attacks anymore. You got to break his wings. Thanks for that. Run like a chocobo. The abyssal wings. Everything. He would call it that. Needs to be just a little more grandiose. You got to get the fancy <laughs> words. Yep. It's extremely like weeb feeling. Like here's my OC with his abyssal yeah, wings. Yeah. I'm just surprised he's symmetrical. Right? That is a little surprising. He doesn't have any mismatched pant legs or one bat wing that's bigger than the other or only one wing. I guess Sephiroth already took that, so. Yeah, yeah. He had it's a kind of patient zero on that one. Uh. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole song about it and everything. Yeah. It didn't really happen in this take. But, especially in this last phase where he flies a lot of the time, uh, you can just have, like, a minute-long, like, aerial melee fight with him if you want. Like, if you just zip up to him with the shuriken and just always throw it back out before you land the last hit that brings it back to the ground, you will just keep fighting him in the air forever. <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. Oh, hey! Yep. Hey, there's... I can see your pores. How about hey. that? <laughs> So this is an un unblockable move called Soul Erosion. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, god. Thankfully we broke his wings before he could use it. Ready? And Got your back. like a strong enough attack will knock him out of it. Also, yeah, we have limit sync. If yes. we both have limit breaks, it's stronger together than if you pop them off individually. Yes. Yes. Finish this! Don't gotta tell me twice! spoil the moment, but we should probably get going. But I'm so tired. I could carry you. You win. Sheesh.
I think I can do this alone. The amazing Yuffie wants you! 
join her team and the sky's the limit! So that's not quite the ending, because while well, it's the ending of Yuffie's story for the DLC, this DLC also gives you a post-credits extended ending to the main story as well. Sure, sure. So, so we're about to see what the rest of the gang is up to after the ending of the game. Hey, Barrett? Were you really walking the whole way? Yep. <sighs> Calm's still pretty far, though, isn't it? Another full day, give or take. Question. When my mom says a full day, she means from the time you get up in the morning till the time you go to bed. But for me, it means from the time you get up in the morning all the way through till the time you get up the next morning. So, which is it for you? Gotta go with Elmira on that one. <sighs> That's a relief. Is it, though? <laughs> Cloud, bet you've had to hoof it from sunup to sundown tons of times. This is all just same old, same old, right? That's right. But even so, we're all gonna need to stop and rest. Especially you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, marching into the unknown ain't easy, but don't worry, because I'm here to lead the way. <laughs> That's comforting. Of course it is! <laughs> All right, everyone, hmm? let's stop here for a minute. Leader's orders. Now breathe in that fresh air. Oh. Huh? Actually, scratch that. Let's, uh, save it for later, when we're not so close to Midgar. Guess this is goodbye, City of Mako. Like this? Yep, just like that. Cool. <laughs> hmm? oh, no way! A car! when you need one. Gonna be okay? Should be, but... Weird. My stomach's in knots. That's its way of telling you it's hungry. Let's move! It's 
Been a while, huh? Long time no see. How you been? Listen. Hey. Uh. Uh. I'm back. Yes, that is the ending to the DLC. That little last thing with Zack. Mainly another thing to fuck around with people who already know what happens in the original game. Whoever that is. Whoever anyway, that is. I can finally watch the GDQ run. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, there's still just a little bit left to do just because we have... Ah. Th there is a secret post-game boss for the DLC as well. Is, is it Long Vice? It's, well, there's also a secret uh, boss added to the main game after you ah. beat the DLC, and that may be Vice. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we'll be checking out the hard mode stuff and, and, and checking out all the additional boss fights, and then we'll be done.